In het SAIS-gebouw op het terrein van het ministerie van LVV heeft de Eat Value Chain Platform Meeting en Workshop plaatsgehad. Het ligt in de bedoeling dat de landbouwers en andere stakeholders die participeren aan dit SAMAP project rapporteren aan de steering committee. Want na een jaar komen zij bij elkaar. Wat hebben ze in, de, in dat jaar allemaal gedaan? Wat zijn de uitdagingen waarmee ze zitten? Wat zijn de problemen die ze meemaken? En dat is dan dus huiswerk voor de steering committee. We spraken hierover met de CTA van FAO SAMAP, de heer Erik Ceballos. This meeting is very important because it is the first meeting after almost a year that the value chain platform has been established. And the members of the platform have been working hard in executing the tasks of their annual plan and their strategic uh, plan for five years. So after a, a while that they were working, they need to inform, they need to report to the constituency, to the membership, what has happened, mm. what they have done, what they have achieved, where are the challenges and where are the other activities that need to follow. So in this meeting, the group will evaluate what they have done an assessment of their activities, lessons learned, what works, what doesn't work, what should be done better. And then from there they will receive feedback. The steering committee will receive feedback from the membership in order to focus better their activities in this 2023. Yes, and when you're talking about the group, the group exists, exists of? Yes, I mean the group means the value chain platform mm -hmm. as a whole. Today we have not only the members of the steering committee, we have the representatives of the farmers, processors, exporters, public, private sector institutions that are members of the platform. As you know, the platform has more than 100 members in this platform. They are all not here, but representatives are coming to express their views and have an interaction, have a dialogue to improve the way forward. And with the information that the uh, committee will get, what will they do with that information? With that information they will refine their plan for this year and they will choose five things, practical things, activities that they want to implement in this year to show to the membership that they are addressing their main concerns, whether those are issues of in, in the production side, whether those are issues in the quality of the production, are there issues on accessing markets, how are we doing with meeting these phytosanitary standards, are things improving, farmers are introducing good agriculture practices or not. Those are more specific activities and this year the platform and the membership will move forward. Yes, and being the CTA of SAO Summit up, Mr. Ceballos, do you know beforehand uh, what the problems are, what they face? Yes, uh, a big diagnostic has been done a year ago. Mm -hmm. We presented as FAO the diagnostic to the sector, what are the main issues. Mm -hmm. The members of the different segments of the value chain have also told us where are their constraints. So we know very well where the problems are. Now we are moving into doing something to resolve those problems. With FAO support, there's a number of activities, capacity building, training, that will help in that direction, but there are other tasks that we cannot do. Farmers themselves need to apply the, uh, the proper size and number of uh, times you put uh, some pesticides in your crops, that you have to observe certain regulations, don't put too much chemicals into your products, take care about the health of the consumers and so on. Same, we don't do policy. Government is the one that has to introduce policy regulations that will facilitate the functioning of the agriculture sector. So this platform brings all them together to discuss focus and implement action. Yeah, and could you sum up some of the problems a year ago? Well, the problems that were a year ago remain today, right? There are structural problems. Suriname produces not in high quantity, not enough to sell abroad. The quality of the product, not standard. One day you have a good tomato, the next day it's a small one, right? And it's not sustainable because one month you can produce many boxes of something, the next month you don't have nothing. So those are the key, key problems where the sector needs to work together. 
in order to find solutions. There are restrictions to access markets because we don't find, we don't meet the uh, phytosanitary regulations. We need to work with the MPPO office in order to train farmers with good agriculture uh, practices, inspection to the fields, enforcement to the rules. All of that comes with a, a cooperation and a concerted approach of working together between the public and the private sector. But a year ago and the date of today, Mr. Ceballos, are they still motivated for, from the farmers still Still, the uh, steering committee are the people still committed to this project of sum up yes I we are very pleased to see you know usually when you do these things mm -hmm. at the beginning you have hundreds of people and then at the end you have ten people as you can see we have many many people already um, engaged and it's growing what we see is a growing process more people coming together and working because they believe on this and uh, they believe because it affects their own livelihood okay. and that's the approach of SAMAP. We do not give things and live, we build conditions, enable conditions for them to carry on by themselves. Believe in themselves, work together, build trust, cooperate, farmer to farmer, business to business, public and private sector. That's what we are trying to do. doesn't happen in one year. In many other countries this takes 10, 15 mm. years. So patience is the second element. Patience in order to do this properly. I see we are moving in the right direction. The stakeholders are engaged and supportive. Now it's time to move into action. So then people can believe more that this is happening. So there will be more meetings and workshops? Oh yes. There will be many, many, many others coming. Uh, hopefully there will be more action oriented not just discussions, yes. but things happening in the field with the farmers acting and showing what they are doing and the services providing the technical assistance that they need in order to improve. So that will come too. But is SAMAP content with um, the way the uh, steering committee is working? Yes, it's uh, been a, a long uh, effort from their side. Remember, the members of the steering committee are voluntaries. Mm. They are not paid and they have to do it from their own effort. And we have nine members, nine members remain and that means commitment, they believe on this. So we are happy with the commitment that we have seen. Now, of course, now that they know each other better, it's time to start to move into action, into implementation. And we'll support them in that direction as well. It's the beginning of a journey that we believe will end in a good place. And at the end of this project, what will the, be the fruits that they will pick? Hopefully, what we will see is a platform that is live, that exists by itself, that the stakeholders remain united and together, and that together they are working on the key issues for the country. And you will see at the end of the project some improvement in production of vegetables, fruits and other sectors, some improvement in the quality, more and more market opportunities for Surinamese produce, then it's up to the country to take those opportunities forward. <laughs>